Jeff, look at all the look at all the mold and moss and everything. Yeah. I don't know, dude. A little rust there. It's flaking. Feel that even just at that little bit. It's I mean there's something there, but I don't know if she's gonna come back all the way. <sighs> I don't know. It's gonna be too much, I think, dude. How long has this one been sitting? Ten years. Really? So me and my wife Judy, we collect old Mopar cars. And I guess the reason I'm selling them is because I just want to see somebody do something with them before there's nothing left of them. It's an expensive project to do cars nowadays. You can spend thousands and thousands of dollars trying to put them back to what they were or what they, you know, could be. And I'm sure you'll find somebody that'll enjoy the car as much as we have. There's mold, there's rat crap, there's snake skins, but there's potential here. And that's where our detailing expertise comes in. We have to make a play on this car. Big question is, what are you going to need for it, Gary? We were thinking a four grand range. Four. Is that in the ballpark at all? Gary, how many hours did you put in that thing? Well, it's got plenty of man hours into it. I bet. Of course, granted, all that stuff was done a long time ago. It it's going to have to be redone again, right? Five grand? Five. Well, I hate to do it, but I will. All right, thank you very okay. much, Gary. When washing a car that's been sitting this long and is this dirty, we have to be careful. We don't know what lies underneath the dirt. Nice and slow, straight line. We don't know if there's flaking paint. There could be loose chrome. Now we're taking off. There we go. Paint flies off. You're going from a detail cost to a full paint job. We could be talking thousands of dollars, and I could be losing money just like that. Holy Jeremy, what? come here. What? 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 Look behind that tire. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know. It just started crawling all the time. I tire. swear we left them all at the farm, man. <laughs> Maybe he's one of the ones that left his skin in there. You got to be kidding me. Where'd you go? He's probably slithered back up into the frame rail or something. That's what I'm guessing. There he is. Hello, friend. Come here. All right, fella, here we go. Here you go, buddy. See, I told you he deserves a better home than the dang duster, right? Now we got to keep an eye out, make sure he doesn't have any other family members in there. <laughs> Ugh. That's awesome. Red is my color. Red sparkling in the Yeah, sun, it buddy. looks good. My team kicked it into high gear, getting this 1973 Plymouth Duster back on her feet. We got decades worth of grime, filth, and mold off and buffed it out into a killer shine. Look at the interior in this thing, seriously. It's. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, the interior in this car is original. We were able to save the seats and carpet from total oblivion. No more snakes. It looks good. The red's my color. I like the red and black. That's really cool. Dual exhaust, that is pretty killer. What's your price? I'm thinking 12 grand on it, man. How about 10 for a good buddy? I, I do 11 grand. All right, 11,000. 11,000? Yep, All sounds right. good. It's about time you cheat, Yeah, cider. I know, I know. So we got the duster for $5,000. Rob's giving us 11. That's a $6,000 profit. Not too bad. This car is a prime example of why we do what we do. If Rob would have seen this car sitting in the grass with the snakes and the flat tires and all that stuff, he'd have kept right on walking. He doesn't have the vision to see what's underneath of that. We're the ones that can get this car detailed, make it look like a million bucks, and help it find another home.